Hello, Donitia, and today we are continuing on our uh, our TNO mod, the new order, the new millennium. I thought this would be the end, but it was not. There was this uh, protest that escalated, and now we're gonna pacify them. I think. Let's hope this is not the last. But today's video is going to be uh, 30 minutes, not 40, as I usually do, you know. Well, let's start. We are back at this uh, protest. Let's read. Since the start of the protest movement, Munich has been heated with tension. On the city's main boulevard, reformists had gathered waving the black-red-gold flag. However, the most notable aspect of the protest was a massive painting carried by dozens of participants. It was a architecture of Gondor that got made up exclusively of Sonnenrader Black Sands, the werewolf's emblem, about the SS Greatest Ali was written in red ink. It didn't take long for the Orpo. Wait a minute. <clears throat> Valerie. Orpo react aiming to dissolve the crowd. But already a third site has assemb had assembled itself, wearing improvised brown uniforms equipped with rocks and clubs. <laughs> A collective of Detsket aligned radicals, the Deutsche Burgergewer, Burgergewer, well, Munchen, marched towards the, the protesters for seemingly no apparent reason. The Opo left the scene, the armed mob attacked the unprepared protesters, leaving dozens wounded and five dead. Without any intervention from the police, the next day the crowds of protests had tripled size in almost every city across Germany, op cracking down on dead characters and reformists alike, but to no avail, the number of incidents grew and with each of them, the inevitable boiling point came closer, a dire situation. Yes, finally! It seems half measures aren't working. Despite our best efforts every day, the streets th team with more and more disgruntled Germans protesting the emergency measures, protesters marching against the crackdowns, and protesters marching for a tougher stance against the terrorists are united by their distance for our government. Marches grow to riots and station approach a boiling point and Germania continues to burn just as there is a division among the upstarts rioters so too is there a division at the top of the party whichever plan we choose will have to commit fully and both the Führer and Musnuk now know the legacy of the great reformer of the great reformer hangs in the balance The dreams of the idealist thinker lie shattered. Their pitiful rallies have been crashed. Most of their prominent figures arrested and the government showing no signs of negotiations. The flame of German liberalism fades out once again. The National Socialist Order standing strong, but the protests have not fully stopped. The most radical groups harass the OPPO, sabotaging the and rioting as they go. The revolutionary minds are still among our people. It are only their voices that grew quieter, more fearful. Their power is weakened, but their presence can still be felt. Soon the time will be ready for our final strike against them. The seed of hope crushed under the boot. Oh okay, yeah, this war. I have, I forgot about it. Black Congo, go. We shot him in the end. 
Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. So many cultures in Africa. The protesters have risked it all. They have made a step too far by turning on the center of Germany itself. On the core of the government provoking most blocks regime detention. Skip this! Uh. Yeah! The tensions of past years have reached their breaking point already, the more extreme parts of the military are mobilizing. Both sides are heading for collision with a confrontation inevitable. The die, the die is cast. Whatever happens now, one thing is certain, it will decide Germany's... Wait, okay, okay guys, we need to wait more. Uh, I'm tired. Uh, did, did you know you can play Enlisted for free? You can, if you want, but you won't. Moment, what is it? Is this? What is happening? Okay, I will call you when something interesting happens. Well, hello again. Something has happened. Let's read more. Investigation has revealed something rather shocking. Protesters and sympathizers are using the wealthers to organize their rallies, spread their propaganda among our government. They have gone into great lengths to produce images and even videos to damage us. Producing parodies of leading party members and created chat rooms for communication and cooperation between themselves. It seems as if we have underestimated the Welser's impact on the movement greatly. Royal leaders and all officials have pr promoted different solutions for this problem. Vitek Scott and his party wing are even going as far as to condemn the Welser's altogether. The less radical options will be to invest into a counter campaign or to control the that's and more harshly. Regardless, we cannot risk to make the mistake of ignoring the wealth in our policies again. This is the 21st century and especially the youth must not be allowed to be twisted by liberal implication. We must What? Anti-fascist action? <laughs> we have deleted the computers. It looks like, like I did the wrong thing, I think. 
Well, maybe well, I will see you when something happens. Well, more has happened. What's that reputation? Connection failed. A confused crowd gathered in German electric equipment stores for last month's entire shelves full of computers had been installed within minutes. Formerly only used by tech savvy students and scientists, they now were available to the average German. A, a piece of the future compressed into a black screen and white box. However, today will result in a disappointment for most of them. Frustrated employees had to repeat themselves to each new customer computers, at least not newer models, will not be sold until the further notice. As a new delivery of computers arrived, they can notice a large sticker pressed onto each of them, with a swastika in the corner. The WorldSnet's primary purpose is for government and business communication. Personal computers are able to access the WorldSnet for permission from the local dwelling office. That the proposal had faced a heavy criticism, but it was not the part task to appease, not to the technology lobby. Digitalization for digitalization's sake was not the point, and even if growth might be damaged, the security of Germany mattered more. Ooh. You cannot still play games. It's like 2002. There was time In USA, not in America. Uh, I mean in Germany. Well, I will see you again. A uh, family guy happened. Years after the, its initial release in the United States, a popular cartoon Family Guy has finally been uh, aired. <laughs> On German television, after lengthy debates between the Bureau of Information and the television lobby, the show received official permission to be broadcasted, although many episodes had been too heavily edited to avoid political controversy. Family Guy featuring the innovation of fictional town called Quack Hawk, Peter Griffin, and his wife Lois, the talking dog Brian, Chris, their naive and clumsy son Stewie, their highly intelligent baby, and their daughter Meg, who is just like and bullied by everyone, even her own family. Her mother is created to cut away gags and her characters highly ex exaggerated personalities in despite the strict censorship applied to the show, many it in Germany call for a ban on family guy. Although Peter claiming it to be another example of American liberal propaganda and an insult to German culture. Yeah. Wolf, wolf fuel. Fuel. Full fuel. You want some fuel fuel? Fuel fuel. Yeah, this I mean, with some black black guy. Black guy. I cannot say that word. It's racist. <laughs> Ah, yes, he have. Uh, oh. <laughs> yes, Colombia. Yeah. Uh, Colombia is a drug state, you know, this uh, Miguel Arroyo, America's rock state, uh, Arroyava regime. Conflict with the church, cocaine trafficking, cocaine, and sections, and nothing. Ah, history class. Okay, this looks cool. Shut the music. Play some Deutschland. Ah, Deutschland. Oh, this is too new. Look at Ah. 
History class. So, who of you can name Spears three major achievements? Lola, a particularly interesting student, immediately exclaimed. He ended slavery in Hebrew Germany after the Civil War and made Germany a world nation. Very good. Sadly, I cannot give you any points for that. How many times do I need to tell you to raise your hand before speaking Laura from? Laura from. Can someone tell me? The year in which Pear founded the Zolevan. A hand rose in the back of the class. It belonged to Thomas, a quiet student whose activity was limited to making controversial statements at every once in a while. Sir, I have a question. Thomas, it's rare to see you get involved in my class. So what would you like to share with us? Why don't we learn anything about Hitler? My parents told me he won the war for Germany. All eyes turned to Thomas as teacher's expression changed to visible annoyance. No, he didn't. The Germany we are live was built by Speer and you shall be thankful for that. But my parents, we will not discuss this in class. Didn't Hitler also kill disabled people? As soon as she had spoken, Lava began to regret. One more comment and each of you will have to write an essay. On the rise and fall of the Ruhr coal mining industry. Why mean mining industry? Okay, we cannot be tarnished. Why don't we learn anything about Hitler? He won the war! Okay, so, there Thomas, let's say this is a history class, so maybe 13, 12 years old, maybe. No, this is Second World War, so 14 years old, minimum, and maximum 15. He's in ninth uh, grade, in class A or C, B, I don't know. His parents must be, if he's 14, then his parents must be between 30 and uh, 45. So let's make this uh, 37, yes. So 37, that makes grandma like 60, 50, 80, 70, 70 years old. So if, if grandma is like 59 years old, that would mean that her grand grandma is 90 years old and 90 minus 2002 that means uh, that's two that's uh, 2002 minus 90 or oh, <laughs> oh, 2002 minus 80, let's say 80, <laughs> okay, so the grandmother had lived through Hitler's era, maybe she's still alive, if she's 80 years now, the mad, it's mad, well, I will see you again in a few minutes, hey, it's almost 2003, year 2003, and my grandmother still lives, Finally, it's 8 of March, I think. The Prachstrasse protest. Germany was a beautiful city at night. Everyone enjoyed walking in the city's many gardens and seeing the city when it stretched. Treaters and monuments designed by Albert Speer, Senior. The Prachstrasse uh, passes boulevards stretching through the Goldman district. District across Germany's north south axis was regarded as pin pinnacle of the metropole's beauty. The city had 
to her thriving nightlife with clubs and other establishments. With being common, but they also were the hubs of growing movement, one in favor of democracy and human rights. To Herbert Fernheim, Germany was not a pleasant place. His father had been arrested in the 80s for opposing the Second West Russian War draft, leaving his wife to raise their newborn son alone. He had seen his friends from lower races get being harassed by other by other children and saw them coming home to Coesquelo. In university, he had started to gravitate towards admiration for America that other students held. He consumed their books, their movies, even their food. He had also admired the system of democracy and and envied them for the social advances they had made. Soon he would make a step no one else on his campus would. He, he formed a political organization. Wow. That's an American. No, you don't want that system. I thought that students were smart, but they were not actually. Well, let's get reading to this little rebel. Illegal as it was, Henry joins the Idrachis, preventing from the children of soldier women for the days of the German Empire and miles of America like Fernheim and even socialists. His group would soon grow influential enough to run for a for hey, student government. Student government winning the majority of suits against the National Socialist Party on campus. A scandal and the result were nullified by the turn of New Millennium Fenheim, graduated with a degree in anthropology, an American language, but he was not bored the career of those things. No, he was going to go into politics. His activism would bring him into the streets of Germania with his newfound ally. This is him. Oh. Today he was protesting, grinding from the wall of Chalet. This was going to send a message to the NSDAP, to the government, to the government of Germany that has closed their eyes for too long. As the massive boulevard filled with crowds of like minded students, fine, I was sure of one thing national socialism would be brought to its knees. The fate of all will be decided once and for all. Too much. The turning point. And now what? Um. Okay. Um. And now what? What now? Hello. Is there gonna be a civil war? Ah, here. Yeah. <laughs> a broadcast from the Prachstrasse. Across the USA, a fascinating interview had gripped the attention of everyone following the recent events in Germany. Right in the center of Germania, in front of the Volkshalle, the icon of national socialism itself, a massive gathering of, of pro democratic protesters has gathered. An American reporter that talked to a student who, in relatively fluent English, answered her question and explained his vision for a future Germany. Multiple orders joined in, eager to voice their opinions on the, to the American public. Uh. It was unexpected. Previously, Americans had only heard from Germans from the hands of other Americans or from the robotic voices of officials, not from ordinary people. Was this how the German people really thought? A clip showing that character country protester gathering to the throat of rocks into a group of protesters being held back by the OPPO was cut out. Who cared about that guys for food and flashing with the police of an outer regime? This was about the hero fights of democratic movement against national socialism oppression. Not about that guy, Tessers, Perry, Tessers, whatever, your whatever. Within a day, seemingly every television channel and newspaper had seemingly developed an obsession for Germany, black, red, and gold on the title site, the Order Germany. What? In bold letters, there now was only one topic in the people's mind. It was like fight of the German people against national socialism. Greetings to Germany and now to the next week's weather forecast. Uh, how many? 24 minutes. <coughs> uh, <laughs>
Let's wait. Ah, yeah. Police man dies in an incident in an adventure in the hands of a vet and our professor in Germany lost his life in collision with a sighting bus near the work chalet. The case was closed. The bus driver had been sued by the officer's family for 100,000 euro mark worth of reparations. No four play was informed and the normal circumstances this would be nothing more than an unfortunate accident. But the close proximity to the cracks that the protest has turned the affair into a political issue. Speer questioned him why the Reichstag media officer had even pressured him to make a television statement on the topic. This was an issue for the local Ocon on the viewer. He signed and began to read the speech. It is with a great sadness that we announce that the officer Weissmuller, a respected member of German Union police and a proud servant of his country, evidence suggests that his death might not have been a regular accident, but in fact, why had this part been changed? The original didn't mention the article student a file with Volker class present the scene or the bus driver having ties to liberal co organization. Even the police had come to the conclusion that, that it had been calamity caused by careless giant, not political violence. It has the script. Oh, yeah, this is bad. <laughs> hey, Afghanistan. Yeah, let's go. Let's send our uh, Mr. Klaus Reinhardt to the um, Taliban. But yeah, yes. Let's go! Revolutionary socialism! Ah, here, ah. Time to invade you! Wait, is there no button? In Afghanistan? There is no one! Not even a police! What just found me at? A patch of policemen near the Prachstrasse, which has become a regularly, regularity ever since its occupation by protesters, have made a gruesome rediscover. Four corpses found in the entry, they belonged to multiple students, which had run something similar to a voluntary catering service for the protesters. On the Prachstrasse, cooking food for like minded dissidents, the student had been attacked with a brute force using a pipe or another heavy object. Seeing as the victim were under no influence of alcohol or any other substances and, and young and healthy, the only explanation for this would be the organized assault. Previously, the potential of controversy is immense within the case, hidden from the public. It will be easy to let it vanish under the jungle of party books, but is it easy due to the answer? <laughs> okay, most likely a political case. <laughs> I guess. Hi. Mm. Well, captured. We're gonna defeat the Taliban. Hey, yo, hey, yo. We're gonna capture Taliban and this is crying. Government silencing the missing protester case becomes public. Outer Chesam sparked among pro democratic circles as government refuses to investigate the stays of a multiple protesters who get gone using near the Prague Strasse. The most of the young men having been killed by the Esther Alain, the Gordisha, or the Wehrmacht are spreading. Cases of violence and vandalism by protesters have become more common and are posted by the Prague Strasse has shifted from sisters to fee and fee to open hostility towards the regime. Unfortunate. <laughs> oh, this is so much. I want to do something, do something. Oh. Who is that? Ooh, it's Taliban. Ah. Muslims call us the military. 
Well, this is not a request, this is a demand. Germany will not become a hotbed of relational activity. We have for allowed too much room for these decisions already. There will be no negotiation, they openly defy the law, and if there are fatalities, then so be it. Actually, no, I assure that there are fatalities among the protesters. It will damage our reputation abroad. It will not be pretty, but it's the only way to prevent further acceleration after the deaths or even a revolution. Mr. Musk, no, as the leader of party sentiments, I hope you are aware of our resources are limited. A large day maneuver with the uh, Dutch is taking place on the North Sea shores, and the Opo shall be perfectly capable of. I'm sure the OKA can deploy at least a local garrison to the Germania center in Potsdam behalf. For sure, it will be arranged. You will hear from us again within the next hour. We need time to prepare. Of course, General. It was only a matter of time. I will get an event. Let's read more. Afghanistan is going to die. Ah. Yeah. Where are the tanks? So be realistic. The tanks are in Germania. Oh fuck, I. Sh I didn't took photos. I cannot make the. What is it called? You know, the citizens of Germany are going to decide they had only experience in the days of the 1983 coup where Mato units and tanks moving towards the government district. They were aware of the events events at the Brachstrasse and they all knew that the consequences were inevitable. Such a provocation at the works itself will not be tolerated by the party. Nervously seemed to be spread among the policemen, the garrison, the Reichstag spear, most of that not the families, the radicals, everyone. To the point everything in the last weeks had led up to the final shutdown came closer, there was no retro no more. The Rubicon has been crossed. Panic in Reichstag. Yeah. Since the Prachstrasse has became the core of the pro democratic movement in the core of Germany itself, the Reichstag was about to prepare for a truly apocalyptic scenario. For every party member in the building, there seemed to be 5k SK soldiers armed to the teeth, and even tanks had been positioned. And this serves as for the Proof that the Libras are nothing more but manipulated fools. America and the Soviets are literally looking at Germany. We need to get the situation under control for the sake of reputation. Action have followed, and as such, I have personally ordered the capital garrison of the Wehrmacht to restore order in Golan district. A wave of cheers followed by Mosgnok's speech as the Führer of Germany. I order you to halt all military movements into the city, as if, if he had spoken the most several of all insults. The Reichstag went silent, and 300 pairs survived to the seat of Albert Speer. For a split second, Mosgnok smiled at my viewer, the matters of the Wehrmacht are managed by the party handsomely. All of this what shall be explained in his documents. You personally signed in 1983. Speer's face went pale. Who is the true viewer now? A call from Germany. Ah, new photo. No, 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 again. There is no need for the military to ensure for the security in the government district. The OPPO can handle the situation. Speer shouted into the phone, Sagre do not let his frustration take over. He was the way of screaming into the speaker and threatening the general with his powers as few heard, but he knew far too well that this will not be taken seriously. The military was loyal to the party, not to the Führer, and like in the fate for the years leading up to the Civil War, the Wehrmacht was no longer an interpretation of its own goals. It had been blocked under the control of the CAP along the goal, but exactly this was the root of the problem. With most interference in every field of government, it was obvious that in the Wehrmacht alliance was to him, not to Speer, or was it? He and Schneider had worked hard for two sabotage Mosnov's efforts to regain control of the life from his seeming loyalist. Most no action were obvious the Wehrmacht world while the crackdown on the protesters, possibly even initiated coup similar to the one following the Second Western War. Once again, all hope for Germany, 
Though my democracy will be destroyed, everything we had worked for in the past two decades. Still, the Wehrmacht was under complete control of the NSDAB with a week of luck, a few strings being pulled, the disaster that was hitting to them can't be, can't be averted. Let's hope we are not too late. Okay, we have still five more minutes. The Prachstra says Sandstorm. In the early morning, however, the protester at the Prachstra heard and noticed something was off. Instead of paranoid population, the old police now seem to be preparing for a siege. As military vehicles arrived within a few minutes, the entirety of the massive Bolarat had been encircled by Opa and Herbert units for mechanical and inescapable barrier using their anti riot shield. An officer spoke in her microphone connected to the network of speakers which by the <coughs> Which the Wehrmacht had set up across the boulevard by orders of the Reich Kanzler. You are in demand and to surrender. Hand yourself over to the police immediately. Most of them complied. They were ordinary citizens and also loyal to the auditors. They knew that the price of possible delay online will be too much. The military allowed some of them to leave. Others were arrested and carried away. But for seemingly no apparent reason, most of them will be put back into the mass of protesters. It took too long, almost dawn had succeeded in leaving the circle when transports full of Wehrmacht units began to arrive. Rapidly, the mass of soldiers and the Oppomay opened up a pageway for them. Seeing the group towards the mass of protesters, also synchronized they pointed their weapons against the crowd as panic broke out. Finally, they shot into the crowd. The Prague Strasse was empty. The government next to had been closed to the civilian, civilian visitors, but apart from that, a reaction, a statement, or harsh crackdowns or measures could not be seen or heard. The residents of the capital could not notice the schism of frequent police, patches, and soldier guarding to the location, yet it was nowhere near the massive pioneer and security measures caused by the Volkswagen bombing across the nation. The protest moving it fell as silent as the government, its leader seemingly vanishing, its activists halting completely. Sometimes a black red gold flag could be found on the sidewalk, a leaflet of a poster in the trash can, but otherwise there were no traces left. Schroeder had apparently gone into exile to Mauritius, where de facto resigned from politics, only whispers that if even if true, were not relevant anymore. The order Germany dies again. No option will be up finally. The precious incident. Ooh, migrate to New York. The Prachstrasse incident. Shocking events have occurred in the capital of Germania. <laughs> of capital of Germania, yeah. <laughs> With the escalation of the pro democratic movement, the process along the so called Reichstrasse, the animals boulevard in front of the Volkschale by the reformist activists, has come to a bloody end. With the military violently crushing the non violent protesters, casualties are within the hundreds and all across the nation. The movement has been eliminated via coordinated violence. First, Belvo has been indicated to show sympathies for the protesters and the reformist cause appears absent. Most of the, the party's leading reformist figures have been placed under house arrest or demoted for, defend, for defending the protesters, and it seems as if Germany's true political control now lies within the hands of the conservative NSDAP leadership. Control is a step, but necessary. Oh yeah, I thought you were assigned. Well, this is gonna be it for the episode by the Prachstrasse. You can see that has happened. Uh, okay, did it with your now you can say. And Spe is absent. Oh. So, I will see you next time. Bye bye.